Hello, this is LP. Um, for this um, video, I'm um, help you with the um, uh, Ubuntu and uh, by nine. And for this lab, um, I have a Ubuntu install already, and my Windows XP as a client from remote. And the IP address I have for Ubuntu is here, uh, 2.168, and um, window I got 2.166. And all of this, uh, what I'm doing right now, is complete on testing environment only. Okay, uh, where do I start from here? So that's the picture you can see it from there. And the domain I'm going to set up here is test.com. Okay, the help, I'm start from help from uh, Ubuntu Office of Website. So assume that you went through a couple of sites, you read them, uh, a couple of what is the top of DNS, uh, primary, secondary, and how is that work already. So, and of course, you need to look a little bit about record as well. So, of course, I'm not going to any of this, but I may create a, some C and A, some MX record. And uh, of course, you have to start with the NS record as well. Okay, let's start. So, I have a, uh, a pre configuration, a couple of files. So, before you start this DNS, I you need to install. So, I have another website here. Uh, you can search on the net. So how to install the first DNS? There we go. So if you have if your DNS have not installed on your Ubuntu, you need to run that command. Yeah. So basically, I have installed already by now, so I don't need to do anything. And now what you got to do is going to enable IPv4. Look up in your uh, etc. So my this is my Ubuntu. And here's my uh, my window, so I ready there my testing environment. Okay, uh, and I don't work direct on Ubuntu, but I work on the server here. So this is my uh, login from remote, of course. And here my Ubuntu IP address. There. Okay. Now let's start with the first one. Is uh, I'm going to cd to etc and then stay in there, make my life easier. The first one I'm going to do is the default. And then name, I think by or by nine. So what I'm going to do here is enable the NS lookup lookup for whatever number they ask you to do it. That's four, right? You can put before or after it doesn't matter. You can put whatever you know in whichever order. Now you got to restart it. That's the way they restart. Of course, there is many ways to restart, not just one way. Okay, so save them. Uh, save them. I'm sure you can use the text terminal or what about the edit term, terminal. Okay, now restart your uh, buy. So you can do many ways. You can do service or whatever way. I did to my, you know, my Linux way. Uh, buy nine and then restart. Now you can check the status of what you're doing just then. So that's at the moment it's listen nothing, just the basic stuff. Okay, let moving on. So what I'm now now I'm going back to the first one, right? The first video, the record there. So to work on vice, I'm going to that CD already. So that's one I'm not going to look in anything further. Now I'm work on the option. So there is a couple options that they ask you to look into, but I do I don't follow exactly what it is. Um the option here right that's the option so you got to go that far which is I'm already here so I don't do any of this see what I got here so now I have that my docs symbol docs there so that's what I just done that's done now I'm going to work I enable this feature in my docs okay so now uh, what is that name doc local at the moment, they got nothing here. Uh, no, I got the wrong one, isn't it? I got to go. I need to go to option. Sorry, option. So I don't do any security. I don't do anything security for this point at all, whatsoever. So I just start with my um, um, with whatever option that I have be tested before. Listen on, and then I put any. Okay, 
and then the next one I put is allow dash query and next one would be recursion yes so that's all the anything else come with the option here leave it what it is don't touch it but if you want to know further you can do a search on that which is i show you the link later that way you can get help from okay done save them and get out of there you're done so the option file you very much finish right that's option file you don't don't any don't work on further on another website you can have a look around how they deal with this option they give a lot of security trust remember the option that we have we work we, we will put the information inside here but if you want to do security which is allow what with ever host this is better if you do in the real environment okay now um so that's what's the option here if you work follow follow this website that's done i don't do anything of this as default google so i don't work i just do that one there and trust equal any listen on any i don't do any transfer at the moment all right now i'm going to work on local file so that's a local file there i'll go back to my here this file from ubuntu now i'm going to work on local file so i got to add this zone in right i'm going to add that zone in so but i have already so i just add them on local and leave it what it is i'm not going to do anything i just copy my file over so i got two two local file here that's i i done a, a test earlier yeah so basically this one i just take it off so my test file the zone one is a test file master and that's a database file that's my database and the location already there so i'm this two file i haven't made it that one that two zone i haven't made it so i'm going to make them later right after this and my ip address is 192 and go backward for for the reverse 192 16a and then two of course i'm going to put my ip address after in another zone so that's very much for my local so what we've done is option local file and then we create this two zone there now two uh, that two data, database zone, and then we save so next one we got to do is work on the follow the link of course but i do a little bit uh, pre-work before okay save them now you got to work on uh, next file is making the database so i'm going to copy is this in that and then i just work it on right okay so you can check you can check at the moment you're here right at the moment you're here in buy you can check whether you have a on this file that's default so your the, this installation is brand new it's, it's blank it's nothing there so all of this file haven't made any modification just yet so now the the they ask us to copy from local all right db local so that's a default one i mean the example one so i'm copying to the test one okay so what i'm doing what do i do cp and db dot local that's the default to my db the file that i wish to create it all right and then i'm going to inside and modify them okay modify them so all of this if you want to miss modify don't touch this one if you want to know what is the uh, the uh, add here and then i show you where to get information from so i leave what default and you change this one to ns.test.com and over here change up code local to test.com and the serial number you start from the first editing so make it one for now and here you should make as a ns.test.com remember you delete that you're done make sure put the dot there if you don't like this one remove them remove them and this one we remove them later right we don't put anything here uh, okay so that's what it look like now i got to make a alias ns uh, in 
and what do I do? I put the IP address for this guy. So it could be what is my IP address for my Linux? Uh, dot two dot one six eight, I believe. An example, I make this one as a online. Okay, or oh, a www, www, and then a here, and I make an a record, and then go into that the same IP address. So I make this one as a web server as well. And if you like to make a uh, alias, you can do example uh, online. Uh, sorry, this is wrong. I n. You do intent and then cname, and then go to www. Okay, there's no dot at the end for this. No dot, no dot, and here they have a dot there. Okay, let me check up with my symbol whether I have it right. So that's what I have. Uh, that symbol there. That's okay. Dot there. Dot there. That's all right. Okay, so I'm done that uh, my first the main one. So I'm not. Gonna, I'm going to do the reverse as well for this zone. So I'll save them. So the main DB is done. Now I'm going to do nearly finished, right? I'm going to do the uh, reverse. That's my reverse. I copy this guy. I copy this guy to become the whatever reverse that I have, and then I'm going to modify them. So nano DB dot one nine two. Then leave it what it is. Just delete whatever part that you have that you don't want them. Delete that, and then here. Uh, what do I do? I put one six a. So that's my. That is my. Um, the main domain, the the Linux DNS. So over here will be ns. Uh, dot ns. That's it. Yeah. I think they have two records. So I make I make another record. Two pointing on this point to ns. And over here, you fix them up with the ns. And of course, there is a dot at the end. The dot at the end. And then this is the first time you do, just leave it one. So that's my example there, test.com. And then the IP address, the last IP address, okay? The last, the, the, the last octet of the IP address because this is a class C. I look okay save them now what do I do before you do anything you got to do some testing first okay check the names on okay check the names on whether it is, is look all right but restart them first so let's see the dot D and then uh, restart them by restart and then checking name uh, D dot com Check, sorry, check conf. See, it's look alright, no problem. Now you should check the zone as well. So you have the zone here, check the zone whether you make any spelling mistake in there. Okay. Okay, no problem with the zone. So now, example, you go to ping, right? It may not work. Ping test doc, sorry. Ping. Ah, oh, no, sorry dot com it's not work right so the reason is at the moment my dns so you had to modify this file at the moment the current the current uh, default name server is not your dns server you had to change to the dns server okay then save them try them again there we go it worked right away all right so you can you can do example the dig here dig dot t and then do a record and test uh, sorry www dot test dot com there we go it show you all the information about your test then from window okay from window you can just test them if you want to but you have to do the IP address right change the gateway into sorry change the gateway you put the IP address, uh, whatever there, and you got to put the DNS. This is automatic, right? But in here, you got to put the DNS. And then you can pin test from window. But you can do the same thing for the web server. Pin test.com. I hope it works. There we go. That's your window. All right.